Hi, I'm Austin Flory, Canada's third best ghost hunter, and today I'm in rural Indiana to investigate a paranormal mystery 30 years in the making. Locals around here will be quick to tell you to stay away from Dead Man's Camper, and for good reason. Legend has it, it's haunted by the ghost of a DJ whose mixtape was so hot, he burned alive. Today, we're going to find out the truth. Welcome back to Spook Search 2004. Our team has managed to narrow down the location of Dead Man's Camper to a clearing just six miles due south from here. So it should just be a short drive in the Spooksmobile, and... What? Oh, no. No. Uh, so I guess we're gonna walk it. Which? is what I planned the whole time because, uh, little known fact, uh, engines scare ghosts. And that's why, uh, and that's why I'm gonna walk all, all six miles. Super. <sighs> yeah, I'm really enjoying the walk. Yeah, uh, fun fact, uh, usually ghost hunting does not involve this much walking. So it's, you know, it's cool to change things up every once in a while, you know, when you, um, when you lock your keys in your car. That's awesome. That should be good. Okay. Well, this is the place. Doesn't look so bad. When it comes to the paranormal, looks can often be deceiving. There have been frequent reports of minor hauntings in the area, as well as some even claiming that if you listen close enough, you can still hear the DJ playing music from beyond the grave. Oh my god. I'm getting a phone call. Oh yep, that's our uh, producer. Okay. What's up, Dave? Yep. Yeah, they're definitely, uh, locked in the car. No, no, I don't have any spares or anything. It's just the one, it's just the one set. Yeah, so I walked. Yeah, all six miles. I walked all six miles to the location. Yeah. Yeah, real good producing you did, Dave. You're a real, you're a real class act. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, bye. Uh, he's not gonna pay for a locksmith. So I don't know what we're gonna do with the Spooksmobile. But uh, I guess uh, it's about time to start this investigation, shall we? Locals often report being overcome with a sense of dread when approaching the camper. They also report the overwhelming smell of cat hair and oh, oh ew, can you see that? that? That's cat hair. That's, uh... Huh. Okay. Well, um... At least half of the myths are true so far, so that's pretty good for an investigation, I think. Let's give this door a try, shall we? What? Oh. It's locked. That's the theme of today's ghost adventure, locked stuff. I'll, uh... I'll be back with some ideas. All right, so what I have here is a patented Spook Search 2004 Spirit Detection Board. Now, you might have seen similar boards on other shows, but let me tell you why this one's different. On a competitor's spirit board, you're gonna find the whole alphabet. Now, you know what a ghost's gonna do with, with the whole alphabet? It's not gonna give you a concise, like, understandable, comprehensible message. Is gonna give you a riddle. Fun fact, ghosts like riddles. Fun fact, 
riddles suck. Uh, so with this board, it actually could not be any simpler. You put the circle in the middle, you, you ask if there are any ghosts around, and it's either going to move to ghost or no ghost. What else could you ask for? You, an you answered. Asked and answered. So that's what we're going to do right here. Okay, I think we're ready to start the ritual. Let me just uh, read off the words I found on Wikipedia. Okay, here we go. Spiritus, tell us if you are here us. Please, no riddlerino. Okay, thanks. Well, that sounds weird, but uh, it was on Wikipedia, so it ought to work. Oh, that's never, that's never happened before. You see, I'm a little, I'm inclined to not believe the board because if there were no ghost, it wouldn't have moved, right? A ghost moved that, probably? Okay, I'm skeptical about this. This ghost is obviously trying to mess with us, but uh, we have a couple advantages on our side. For instance, Ghosts are most powerful at night, and we are investigating safely during the daytime. Oh, thank God it still works. Okay, so I blacked out for like a second, and now it is considerably later at night. So uh, it's times like these where I would usually drive away and come back tomorrow, but the Spooksmobile isn't here, and I'm not walking all the way back without some good footage. So we're finishing this investigation tonight, and I have a plan. I'm going to use my patented Spook Search 2004 lockpicks to get in this camper, uh, which, in retrospect, I suppose I could have used on the uh, Spooksmobile. But that was then, and this is now. So let me just fish these out of my uh, backpack here, and I'll just... Okay. All right. Uh-huh. It's just uh, somewhere in here. Whoa, uh, no, on second thought, I'm going to stay the fuck away from that camper, and, uh, instead, we're going to do some outside searching again. So sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, I have the patented Spook Search 2004 ghost radar. Let's just see what kind of, uh, spooky artifacts we can pull up, shall we? Okay. Oh, getting some good readings in these bushes. Alrighty. Oh. We found something. Let me just, um, I'll position the camera and get a better view. Alright, that's better. Okay. Here are the bushes we've been getting some readings from, so let me just see what we found here. Oh my god. It's a mixtape. I, I really shouldn't be holding this, it's probably possessed, so I'll just, uh, put it down. I'll put it down. I can't put it down. Okay, P put it down, put it... Oh dear. I will continue this investigation from inside the camper. Wait, how did I get in here? Oh god, no, stay away from me! No! No, I don't want to listen to your mixtape! Oh god! Someone please help! What is that? Oh my god, it sounds like the Spooksmobile! It must be Dave! It's working! The ghost is afraid! Back, ghost! Stay back! Ah! 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 Oh my god, Dave, you, you saved me, <laughs> thank you. Well, that's one more investigation down. And I have to say, it went exactly as planned. I'll admit things got a little hairy towards the end, but all ended up okay, thanks to the heroics of my good pal Dave, who also happens to be the best producer ever, uh, who decided for once to grow a heart. Good time to choose, I think. Uh, well, that's the end of this spooky adventure. 
We'll see you all again next time on next episode of Spook Search 2004. This is Austin Flory, signing off. <laughs>